run a doctor group of the Global Healing Center, one of the main formulators and designers of a lot of the products. But this is not an infomercial today. We're going to plug a few things. Your super mail is in the truck. It's, it's, you can order it now. It's basically back in. It gets here Monday. So when I get that first, it's back in. But uh, he's here to talk about this because I said, what is the most important thing in the world? He said, the attack on the human species. It is scientific. You're absolutely right. Uh, and here's the London Telegraph. Why is male fertility so under uh, so under researched? Uh, the problem with conventional medicine treatment of menstrual symptoms and female infertility, declining male fertility rates due to excess chemical exposure. Research shows Fox News scientists grow human sperm in lab cure for infertility. See, they're going to make you where you don't work. So you've got to go to the system to survive. It's to make you unnatural and take over your innate power. The attack on men and women coming together in passion and love and creating a new human and that bond with that little sweetie cake baby. The attack on that, the attack on the male and female is a demonic abomination. The state and groups getting in between a man and a woman and their life together and acting like that's some big fight and that's some big war is the ultimate attack on the species. It's what aliens would do if they wanted to slowly kill off humans. They do it chemically, they do it culturally, they do it spiritually, and they've done it. And Dr. Grip joins us to break down this war and some of the things that are admitted in mainline literature that, that, that can't reverse it all. Anybody that says that's, unless you catch this stuff really early, but can certainly jumpstart, get around the chemicals, that turn off your switches and do other things. And, and that's basically what I've done. Part of being fertile is you're healthy, your skin's healthier, your eyes are sparkly, you're alive. And with natural compounds, exercise, pure water, meditation, prayer, a lot of the things you can reduce some of the damage that's been done. But if you don't respond and if you're not aware, you're really in trouble. And by the way, knowing you're under attack is also half the battle. Dr. Group, thank you so much for joining us today. Great to have you with us, my friend. Hey, it's great to be on, and congratulations. I know you've been working really hard at uh, getting yourself back in shape and getting healthy, and really it all comes down to, in men especially, uh, we, lo we start losing our hormones. And infertility, sterility, the attack that we have on the population, the globe, it really comes down to endocrine disrupting chemicals and a hormone imbalance that's being caused by many things that we talk about, fluoride, the phthalates, the, the BPH. But more and more, we're seeing individuals that are having problems getting pregnant. I mean, it's really hard for someone to bring a baby into this world these days, and that's all done by design, too, with the population control situation but hormones are nothing more than chemical messengers in your body that allow for different systems and glands in your body to communicate with each other and as I started doing more research by the way I had a book on uh, getting pregnant and natural fertility that the FDA came in and made me take down so I know firsthand that they're trying to keep this information to themselves and trying to restrict people from getting pregnant and using sci these scientific methods, these devices, they're trying exactly what you said. They're instigating divorce. They're instigating, instigating pornography. They're trying to separate the male and the woman. They're trying to separate those feelings of love and affection and natural childbirth. They've been doing that when they also went to cesarean sections instead of natural childbirth. Now more than half in the U.S. are cesarean. That's right. There's a lot more money and a lot less time involved with cesarean. They've, and then they're also contaminating everybody, pregnant women now, especially with flu shots and vaccinations. So I wanted to come on today and talk about some natural methods people can use. And you, you mentioned also some of the robotic or futuristic techniques of what we're looking into and that's something that I, you know, we haven't even talked about. You've talked about the spider goats, but that's transgenics. And transgenics is actually an organism whose genomes have been altered by a gene from another species. And talking about fertility, this goes hand in hand because 
DARPA has been funding not only DARPA, but the, the, all of the military, the Army, Navy, Marines, and Big Pharma to test drugs using animals with human genes to bypass some of the FDA human clinical studies to test drugs safely. And now we even have transhumanist associations. Sure, and, and, and there are animal rights, there are human rights lobbies. There is no transgenetic lobby. So they say a cow that's part human doesn't have any rights. And humanzies, even the Washington Post submitted a decade ago, they have in China and places like that, uh, but also in Costa Rica of all places, in government labs. Uh, these are almost completely human, but because they've added some, some, some chimpanzee genes, uh, they claim that they have no rights because they're not chimpanzee, they're not human. And notice you don't hear PETA or anybody even talk about this. This just, just like I knew 20 years ago that Planned Parenthood was selling baby parts, and it was admitted in lawsuits then. Now everybody knows. Well, there are humanzies and, and, and other an, uh, human primate crosses all over the place, and they're doing unspeakable horrors uh, to these humanoids. This is something that it, nobody really knows is going on, and there's billions and trillions of dollars being funded. I mean, even in It's a giant Manhattan Project on steroids. Yeah, in 2006, the Department of Health funded Case Law School. It was close to $800,000 to develop guidelines for how to deal with human enhancement in the future. You know, having part human, part animal, or part animal, part human, and at what point? Is it 25% human that, that they fall under constitutional rights? So this, is, this amount of money that was given to Case Law School was for them to develop government policy that can be extended to transhumanists. That's how the Constitution will affect a part human entity. So this stuff's been going on for a long time, and there's a race. It's like a nuclear race that we had with Russia at, back in the day. Sure, they're going to find what they believe the keys to immortality. You just put the article on screen for viewers. This is all being documented by Dr. Group right now. And, and so this is the future. This is the world. This is why they act like we don't exist now. While we're watching football and acting cool, the elite know what the real discoveries are. Just what we know is incredible. Uh, that, 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 that's not secret. How advanced, Dr. Group, do you really think all this is? Well, the, I know for a fact that they've been able to uh, use up to 50% human DNA right now. That has been documented. There's a transgenic facility at Arizona State University. There's a transgenic transhumanism organization at Stanford University. I think they're highly advanced, and I think a lot of the testing is underground. When you look at all of the black ops uh, testing and genetic stuff, it, most of it, I think, is underground. Uh, around Listen, the my dad was one of the first dentists to do implants in the early 80s, and it wasn't just him. A bunch of the dentists he knew that were you know, doing implants they tried to hire him to take him to Maryland to, to a, quote, underground operation. He had been paid, like, double what he was making then. I remember the discussions around the table. He couldn't tell my mom because some of it was secret. And I, he won't even tell me something about it today because, you know, obviously he signed stuff. But just to discuss it, and it was cy cyborgs. It was cybernetics. And imagine if they were, he was, if they were trying to hire a bunch of dentists in Dallas and, and oral surgeons. Can you imagine how big these projects are if in like 1982, 83 this was going on? Imagine how big it is now, Dr. Group. There's nothing bigger right now with taking the most funding from our taxpayer dollars, believe it or not, because Obama is the one that overturned the restriction that Bush had signed the taxpayer money couldn't be used to fund stuff like stem cell research and transhumanism and gene uh, transgenic operations. Splicing. So thanks to Obama, now our, a, a good percentage of our taxpayer money is going to these organizations. And that's not even including the black op private funded operations. I mean, we are in a race with China right now and with Russia, and there's no stopping it. I, I, it's, it's crazy to think that I mean, they're merging the vision of wolves into humans for performance warfighters in DARPA even. They took their information down, but they had it on their site talking about uh, investing billions into extended performance warfighters. Um, and that's been going on, like you said, since, you know, the early 2000s, even back to 1970. So...
That's something that, you know, we're talking about fertility and we're talking about hormones, but what's really going on, there's always something going on behind the scenes as we're looking at these transgenic humans and now they're even talking about what to do and how they're going to put kill switches into these uh, different types of humanoids. And you see, you can look online right now, there's a big movement for Homo sapien 2.0 or modified humans to where you can learn learn faster, your vision can become better, you become immortal, you don't die. But here's the problem. Everything we're given has back doors and Trojan horses, and all the tech is making us stupider, slower. Uh, all the studies show it. It's not empowering us. What we're being given is enslaving us. It's enslaving us. It's how to control us and it's taking away it's it's you're creating something by man instead of what was given to you by god and the same things happening in the agricultural with genetically modified organisms and basically we're taking a soul a human soul and we're bringing in man-made science and man is starting to create different types of genetically modified plants and genetically modified humans and where this is going is not going to be good well I mean, we know exactly where it's going there they've already introduced chemicals viruses uh into the food chain and the water supply and the vaccines to where soon no one will be able to have children it'll be very very rare the children of men scenario, but don't worry. It won't work with two parents. It works with three parents. We will come and design your baby for you now, but of course it will have all the kill switches built into it. It's like all the new cars. Repo men are going out of business because the cars all just have kill switches on them. And even after you pay off your car, the kill switch is still there. Now the cops just get your uh, license number and they just issue a code from a helicopter and your car stops. Uh, and people say, oh, that's great. That keeps us safe. No, we're having this electronic skin, these tentacles wire into everything for this takeover. And, and, and this is the most incredible time ever to be alive, folks. Because here is the final equation. The people running the show think we're a scourge, say we're ugly, and want to wipe everybody out except themselves. You're living in a science fiction movie, so am I. It's real, it's happening. We're here raising the alarm for the new renaissance against the new dark age. We'll be back with Dr. Group, I'm Alex Jones. The public really is in a trance. I know we've got callers even before Group got on, but he can speak to any issues. A really good friend of mine, Patriot, former Army Special Operations, his dad, famous chemist, uh, helped develop bisphenol A and the rest of it. I've got all the mainstream articles here admitting what group and others said, you know, 15, 20 years ago that it was bisphenol A and chemicals that are killing the sperm, the fluoride, women's infertility is off the chart. And Dr. Group, I want to go over some of the things that we know do boost fertility in men and women, uh, just some of the basic things. But uh, I I'm not saying this because we sell probably what's one of the best pure iodines out there. I mean, we know it's the purest we can find, uh, the purest anybody's got that we know of. We get even purer if we could, the Survival Shield X2. But uh, just from my own research and, and of course, your research, uh, you die without iodine. And the government used to say put it in the salt since the 70s. It's been out. And that was even a crude form. It's hard for the body to absorb, but better than nothing. Uh, how does iodine come in for fertility? Well, iodine is extremely important for fertility. It's probably one of the first and foremost things because it's balancing out the endocrine system. When you look at the endocrine system, which contains multiple glands, and really the endocrine system is nothing more than glands that produce and regulate hormone secretions. And whenever you have hormone balance, you're in health. Whenever your hormones are out of whack, you're gonna be suffering from fatigue, uh, pains everywhere, infertility, sterility. I mean, you could probably link practically every single disease mechanism to a hormone imbalance. But iodine is one of the one of the substances that's missing in practically everybody. We there's been massive studies that show uh, iodine deficiency linked to infertility, uh, brain health, lower IQ. And not only that, it's an endocrine system balancer. So what iodine does is helps balance out your endocrine system. 
which is all your glands, including your gut, which is the number one endocrine gland in the body, the biggest and largest. And it helps not only balance out, and, and iodine is also